Right now I'm here at the local reservoir grabbing some really sweet shots of the sunset. And uh, I didn't feel like biking home after dark. It's only about four miles from here. So I'm going to stealth camp for the night in the woods that I'm facing right now. 180 degrees from the reservoir body right over here. They're pretty thick and even though they're right by the road I'm not at all concerned about being seen. So, it's hard to grasp the hill that we are on top of. It's sort of a ridge separating the water from the rest of the town. And uh, it's about eight stories high, judging based on the concrete stairs that you have to climb to get up here. So I'm going to still camp out here tonight. I have some camping gear down on my bike. And of course I have my camelback right there with a long sleeve insulating shirt and a jacket and my camera gear. So, we'll see how that all works out tonight. Right now you're looking at my campsite. It's pretty well obscured. It is 6 a.m. this morning. The reservoir behind me. I uh, just woke up to catch the sunrise on digital film. And then uh, I'll probably be heading home shortly after that. Last night I slept great. It was uh, not too cold or anything. It got down to about 50 or so, maybe upper 40s. It's pretty cozy. I'll show you my camp in a minute. This is my campsite. I slept tonight. Um, basically, I took my poncho and just laid it down on the ground for a ground sheet. My sleeping pad, three quarter length blue foam. My 30 degree bag, and I wore my pants and um, one of these athletic type, slightly insulated shirts on top of a spandex base layer and I was really warm I was almost too warm at some points but cozy and I put my jacket in the uh, sleeping bag stuff sack for a pillow which worked out great um, I didn't use any kind of overhead coverings because uh, I've got plenty of leaf cover above to protect me from dew and there was basically not a chance of rain tonight. Hanging on my bike here, just because that was the most convenient place to hang it, I have a bungee cord that has two things. One, this little, uh, it's called a spotlet, S-P-O-T-L-I-T, and it can either glow straight or blink, like that. And uh, I like to just have that along in case I have to wander off at night and leave my campsite or uh, I even use it for reading when I'm stealth camping. And this is one of the, uh, this one's Ozark Trails I think, but it's basically the same thing as Coghlan's. It's a whistle, a compass, uh, a magnifying glass, and a thermometer. I use the thermometer the most really, and it's always good to have a whistle in the woods. Right now it's reading about 54 degrees at 6.20 a.m. I have the EMS packable pack, Eastern Mountain Sports, with the blue foam sitting pad. It's also the frame sheet. I use this like a big stuff sack on this trip and uh, bungee corded it to my bike just to get down here. I also bungee corded the sleeping pad to my bike. And uh, basically the only thing I put in my backpack were my extra layers on top and uh, my camera and tripod. So I would have quick access to those once I got here. And then when it was time to set up camp, I could just pull my bike into the woods and have everything I needed right there. I brought a couple of things I didn't end up using. I brought the MSR e bivy which I just didn't need last night. And it's also bright yellow. It's this, this yellow color. And so I wanted to avoid using that if I could, because it's very visible. 
I brought a mosquito little, uh, it's called the mantis. It's like a little pyramid of mosquito netting that goes like halfway up your chest. It'll cover that far down you. The idea is that only your face and shoulders would be poking out of your sleeping bag and so it would protect them. It's pretty light, uh, it's well made, uh, but it was too cold last night for the mosquitoes so I didn't have to use it. First, the sleeping bag. This is a snug pack, by the way, in case you were wondering. I like it a lot. For the last week or so, I've been using it at home on my bed, just for fun. And uh, I almost always use it open, unzipped all the way, like a quilt. Works really well, it gives me a lot of room, and uh, if I felt like being cozy with somebody, I could fit two people under it. And I just uh, stick my feet in the foot box. There's a little foot box sewn in that can't be unzipped. And uh, curl up under it like a blanket. It's really cozy, super warm. It seems to work just fine for me. And then this compression sack gets it to be too small. <laughs> Bada bing. So there's my camping gear all packed up. This is a 25 liter pack, and it handles it all pretty well. Next I'll just get this strapped on my bike and uh, be headed home.